What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, I took the weekend off there. I was doing a little bit more work. Uh, this time was on my front deck of the house. Uh, put another roof on it. Threw some lighting on it. Um, just taking advantage of Mother Nature. I don't know about you guys, but man, I'll tell you what. It's it's at the weird transitional stage where you're going from, you know, the winter time to spring. And, of course, you get these wild uh, swings in weather. I mean, I think Thursday morning was supposed to have snow overnight from Wednesday into Thursday morning, and it's supposed to be like 35 for the day. Now, today being Monday, it's supposed to be 66 to 67 degrees here. So, yeah, I'm going to make this video here, and I'm going to jump back out and do some more uh, final touches on it, so to speak. But anyway, guys, I got a wild one for you guys today. This is from Sol562, uh, so it's a few days ago. I think we're up to, I uh, checked this morning, and we're up to 565 on Sol's, which has some more interesting stuff I'll be doing. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. But this is the picture you'll get. Now, this has some wild stuff in it, guys. If, if you, nobody's done this yet, you'll see some pretty crazy stuff in here. It looks like shelters, stone carvings, uh, machinery, definitely some modern-day things in here. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now, I'm going to show you now where you can get it, which would be right here. And this is, if you go down to the mass cam right here, and you get the, uh, the uh, Malin or Malin, depending on, it's usually Malin, but, um, you know, mass cam. But... If you click on this one here, I mean, here's the picture right here. You can zoom in, do your thing here. Uh, so, yeah. And, of course, you guys will have the link. You don't have to go copy the address and all that junk in here. Um, we'll definitely have it for you. You guys know that. But, anyway. Okay, this is... <laughs> right off the bat, I was, like, looking at this picture. I seen two things that popped out. One, it looked like a stone face um, in this area right here. Um, now, I'm going to zoom into about 300%, 400%, so you guys can uh, really see this. Let me do the two first. Well, when you zoom in, I'll show you just three. This is 300. Right here, there's a face right here, and it doesn't. It looks like the eye, two eyes right here, the nose and the mouth. Now, when let's do the auto tone. Get rid of that nasty color because they love to put that junk in there. Uh, get rid of some shadowing. You'll notice right in here if you just hit the shadow and highlights, and then just do a little blur, and you can see what looks like two eyes, just large nose type thing, and a mouth. Now, I thought that was pretty wild because, and now we're going to do a little shopping here. and But it looks like something's been put over this. Or this has been, I don't care what anybody says. And I don't know if a lot of you guys, uh, I know a lot of you guys will agree with me, actually. But 80% of the rocks, now I'm not saying there's no rocks in these pitches. Please don't get me wrong. I'm saying 80% of the rocks or the area that they're looking at, there's something in it. And these rocks have been modified. They're not rocks. And you can clearly see if you really take a look. I mean, come on, look at the way this thing, this rock is right here. Nice little uh, angle right there coming down. They make them look like rocks. Come on. This happens to be just sitting just perfect in this rock. But you can see something's right there. It's like looks like some kind of weird metal strap sitting right in this. These are not rocks. The, I'm telling you guys right now, they're not just saying, hey, here's a Polaroid camera, uh, Curiosity Rover. Just go out and take some pictures. That's not happening. This is a high-tech machine. They have... It's a nuclear-generated uh, machine. It has a radio... Uh, radioactive isotope in it and it's actually dwindling away and i think it produces and i could be wrong guys you guys can correct me but it's 150 watts this thing produces this little power plant and eventually when that completely that isotope dies off so does the curiosity rover so the point is they're not going to waste their time which is stupid little pictures um these rocks have been modified and like i said look at the edge on this rock right here right here in the middle look at the way that is it's like a sharp edge Nine, well, I wouldn't say 90 degree angle, but it kind of comes down with this weird, instead of just a straight corner, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of having a straight corner, this is actually an angle here. And it's this nice defined line, and it has this round circle. There's something clearly here, but it looks like rocks. Sure, I'll go with that, but they're not rocks. I can almost promise you they're not. It has this weird right here. And now when you watch this when I invert this, it has like this weird corner, like this scoop type thing. Like right here, and you can just see it's been modified right down here. And you see how like this is, you can see where it's right here at this, you can see where they didn't do the whole thing right here. Look at this. Kind of comes up and then goes down and gets mixed up in this crap or this manipulation that they put on it. Watch the difference. You'd swear this is, see, it's like, it's kind of like a sunlight, but it's not just sunlight. Because you can clearly see where it goes like this here and down and even down here. So they just kind of like just scribble it over it because... See, it looks like shadowing, but it's it, you can clearly see there's some kind of weird lines in this thing. And believe me, this is not just rocks. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, now, I want to go up to here because this looks like it looks like Poseidon's fork. Now, that's the old mythical god. Depending on, you know, whether you're from Greece 
uh, uh, if you in the Roman times, they either called it Poseidon or Neptune. Um, and this is what it looks like Neptune's or Poseidon's fork right here. Now, if you look at this picture here, it's got that, uh, they used to call it a trident because it has tri, so meaning three. Um, and it has that weird fork uh, shape to it right here. Kind of goes outward, straight up. And then I don't know if that one's missing or if it's like right about here. It looks like it kind of cuts right off. But look at the th round kind of thing behind it. And you can it has a like a glare kind of thing, like the shiny piece right here, like it's steel. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's clearly something there. Um, let me see if there's something here too. Okay, you can still see that. And there's something right here. See the other way that kind of like comes apart, but the round piece is here. This piece here, let me go back here. Right there, and then you'll see in between it now because we're gonna invert. But right there, but if you look over here, there's something else that's right here that has what looks like a piping. And see the way this kind of slopes down? You don't see that in a regular picture, but watch this. This weird kind of, I'm not going to say rectangular because it does have a different shape. It has these weird radiuses to it. And then it kind of goes down. There's something here that's like piece, another piece, another piece, another piece. And then there's something down here that's square. I mean, there's a lot of little things going on in this picture that it just doesn't look like something like, I mean, it's just like randomly there in the stone. Look at this. Another pot right here. Another one here. And it looks like square and it's like a rounded surface. I, I don't know. If you go to right here, this, I don't, again, I don't know what these things are, but look at the way this wannabe rock is. It has this weird, almost triangle, upside down triangle at the end of it. And then we got, you look at the top, it's got this weird domed rock, if you will. It looks like a rock, but look at it at the top. It's got this flat top here. That looks like it's got this round circle, and it looks like, I want to say like it would be a smooth surface, like almost like a shiny metal or, or glass like in the center. Now, depending on how you look at this thing, I looked at this again when I brought this picture up, and it kind of struck me in a different way. It looks like this weird square, and then it looks like something like a pipe or something protruding out. It depends on how you look at this thing, but this is clearly intelligently made. I'm going to show you why in a second. Look at this right here, like some kind of rooftop of something right here. Goes up here, goes across, comes back right here. It's some kind of like a top of a machine, maybe some kind of vehicle. I don't know. Now, if you look at this whole area, watch what happens. There's clearly 90 degree angle right here. There's like one piece here and another piece down here. See how like this looks like more of a flat top now and there's something just flat there. Um, right here. There's clearly some kind of things in here. There's that, like I said, with that flat piece of machinery or if that's some kind of vehicle i mean we are zoomed in 300 percent. so there's obviously there's something there that's just not nature i mean it's not in or nature made or naturally in nature rather um but right i'm trying to remember if it was right here i believe it is yeah right this is funky how they did this i'm going to zoom in 400 percent. look at the way they drape this right over it right here and it kind of goes like this comes down but there's something right here that has this arch. You can see it through it. It kind of comes up, goes like this, back down and over to here. And it terminates right there. But you can actually see it. It's like an arch or something. And there's something else there. But they drape this crap over. You can see like this sh this weird blurring. Like they just kind of drape this over to, to hide whatever. Look at there's something else right there. There's this... Oh my God, just guys, just take a look at this picture. I'm not going to go over all the little things here because it would take too long. And I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. Um... But let me jump over here. I think you'll find it interesting. This looked like, to me, looked like some weird opening to a shelter. Um, right here. It just, it looks like an opening. And look at the way this, there's like one slab. I don't know if it's a stone. Um, I don't know if it's steel. Whatever it is right here, there's one right here. And you can have this, it has this weird opening right there. I mean, I found that pretty odd. Now let me zoom into that. And then right to the left of those, it has this weird square. Comes down like right here. And just behind it almost looks like a shadowing of the same thing. Like it has the same kind of shape to it. But look at this. It goes down and into the mouth of this weird other thing. Looks like this. I don't know how to explain that. But it looks like some small roofing or some kind of opening. And it's going into the mouth of it. See that? Kind of just goes right into it. And it looks like it's semi off the ground in the front of it. This would be the side. Goes across and then back down. And whatever this white thing is, it goes into it. Uh, bizarre. I mean, it really is bizarre. Um, but you'll see, like I said, you'll see these here. And then now if I invert that, it's still in the picture. And it's right there. 
It looks like some kind of weird opening to like some kind of underground dwelling or if it's something that's just caved in. Because like we said a thousand times, like something catastrophic here happened here on uh, on Mars and you just don't know. I mean, look at the way this has this 90 degree angle. And then it has these here. But you look at it right here, it doesn't look like much. But there is some kind of rectangular roofing or some kind of weird whatever this is. And it's hard to tell, guys, to be honest with you, what this is. Because you don't know if it's like bigger un under the ground. Um, there's just no way of knowing. Here's another thing I thought was pretty odd. It looks like these, something you see in the old movies, like a UFO crashed in the ground. I, I thought it was really bizarre. It's definitely some kind of modern something. Look at the way this thing comes out of the ground right here. has this rounded piece right here at the edge. comes around, and it has these three what look like eggs kind of thing, shaped eggs. One, two, three, but it has something else behind it, like another weird opening or something. And then look at the, just below it. Another arch or some kind of weird steel it goes like this here, up and around. I mean, totally bizarre things that just stick right out. Um, and just just to the back of it, look at this. Another thing comes up, goes across, comes back down. You can see where it terminates right there and goes into the ground. Look at this. It's got these weird things on the top of it, but you can clearly see there's something here that you can see it goes up and comes back down. I don't know if that one there is shadowing. Yeah, it's got like a shadow down the bottom, so it kind of looks like it's cut off right here, but it's not. See that? But it actually goes down, goes across, and then back over to here, and then it has whatever this is. You can see it's like rounded hair. These are not naturally made. I don't know what these are. I really wish I knew what they were, but it's it's clearly not. Look at this, another 90-degree angle, and there's something on the side of it right here. I mean, just look at this picture, guys. I mean, look at this, another 90-degree angle. looks like some kind of weird piping. goes across. This right here looks like it's nice edge to it. Goes up and goes around, and then it kind of comes around here. I don't know, man. I this thing is bizarre to say the least. I mean, uh, right here too as well. Look at this. It's actually ghosted out, and I well, I'm going to use the term either ghosted out slash uh, severely contrasted. Let's just put it that way. There is what looks like a pipe sticking out of here, but you can't see it. Now, let me see if I can even bring this thing back out because it's, it's it does. It actually fools you. Um, should be right... Well, here's another squared off area, but that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know if it's right there. Oh, right here. Right there. It looks like a pixel right here, but look at the way it goes down. It goes down. It may be actually a square opening of something, like a beam. Uh, like a square beam kind of thing, because it goes down. It looks like there's another corner faintly right there, and then another one here. And when you invert it, you can still see it. Line going down, line going down, and you really can't make out that one, but... There's clearly something here. But they contrast everything else, so you can't see this stuff. Look at it. Now you can see the, right here. Look at the way this thing does it. Now you get this weird piece that comes over, goes down, has that other weird looking like roof type thing. It almost looks like the tops of rooftops of cars. That's the only way I can describe this. I'm not saying that they are, but to me it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I've seen plenty of what looks like vehicles of some sort on here. Look at this. It comes down, goes across. Goes over to here, and then it kind of just, whatever this is over here. But check this out. Goes across, down, and then right here, there's other, I don't even know if that's a square or whatever that is, but there's something here, and then it's perfectly symmetrical going around it. Watch this. See it? Whatever that is, it's clearly intelligently made. This is not a rock formation. See it now? It's actually... Goes across and then down like a Y, like this wide Y type thing. And if, like I said, if you break it down, you can just see these things. Look at here it is, and it looks like this has been ghosted out or really highly, you know, contrasted out. But there's clearly things in this and like buried in this rubble, and it's not all rock. Now I don't know if this has been fused together, and like I said, this right here, you can see the edge right there, and it goes around. I mean, right here. And then you got the other one below it. So, I mean, there's clearly these are not rocks. Um, I don't know what they are, and I wish I did, but I don't. Um, here's another one that looks like some, somebody was doing like some weird kind of cross thing. It was uh, Will from over there, What's Up in the, Air, sky, in, in the Sky. And also, I think it was Truth Seeker that seen this first and passed it along. But it has this weird... Now, this one doesn't look anything like the cross that they saw, but it may be just the way it's uh, ghosted out because you can see it a little bit better this way. But it's hard to tell whether that's mechanical parts. But, I mean, look how perfect that is straight across. Boom and boom. Yep. Let me just back out. Make sure that's not just a pixel, so to, so to speak. Um, 
No, you can still see that. And nice and clean, too. There's something way back here. See that? Like arched. Let me see if I can bring that up. I don't know. It's pixelated now, but let me see if I can do this. Well, it's hard to see that, but... I mean, guys, just take a look. I mean, there's some just some crazy things in these. In, in, in this, look at this. Nice and smooth. Comes down. It's hard to tell whether there's just a bunch of things buried in here or what. I mean, wow. I'm sure I even missed a few things. I'm sure you guys will find something I clearly overlooked. Um, look at this in front of this, what looks like an opening to a structure. Look at this. Like this jagged looking rock type thing. Yeah. I mean, oh my God. It just goes on and on and on. It's just, just This picture is amazing for the stuff you can find in it. Like I said, just this weird kind of coming around, the stuff here. This 90-degree angle pipe. Looks like a piping and some kind of vent piping. Call it which way. Look at this. Even right here, there's some kind of weird frame to something right here. I don't know if I can bring that out. No. Nope. Well, I can see it right there. It's white, but it's right there. It goes across, and there's something else here. Oh, I'm... Just take a look at it, guys. I mean, you guys, I know you guys are hardcore on this. A lot of you guys are like, you take this and pull this picture apart, and that's what I love about you guys. Look at this right here, too. I mean, I thought this is kind of odd, too. Look at this. It has, like, this weird steel strap. It looks like it might be, like, arched kind of thing right here. It clearly looks like a piece of metal as opposed to, you know, just a piece of rock. See, it's got this divot in it or cut out. I mean, again, it's anybody's guess what this thing is, but um, it's there. It's in the picture. This, to me, is not a rock. There's something clearly there. Of course, you can't see it here. because And I, I docking up some of these areas to try to see if we can find out what this stuff is. But if you look at the top left up here, see how like it's got this weird thing coming out? And then it comes over to here. I mean, just some funky stuff laying all over the ground here. I mean, it's, it's crazy, man. I like this picture. I mean, it just has a lot going on. And like I said, I'll let you guys and check this out yourselves. But now I can almost see something here. I don't know if you guys even noticed this. But when I was showing this earlier, like this weird, almost rectangular thing coming down. And it's, it's perfectly symmetrical lines. Look at the way they slope. Another one here. But right at the end, it looks like this wide pipe or some kind of weird... Looks like it's kind of a... Uh, well, yeah, it looks like it's kind of rounded at here at the end. And it goes like this here. It's like this big, wide pipe kind of thing. And then it's kind of hard to tell what it goes off to, but. Oh, yeah, this is some crazy stuff in this. But anyway, guys, I figured I'd just bring that to you. I thought that was, in... it's a pretty wild picture. Just look at the stuff. I mean, there's something right here that's colored. I mean, it looks like it has some, it might have like a little kind of arch thing type thing, maybe opening to another little pipe. Look at this right here. It kind of goes up and over and down. You know, a lot of people think, oh, these are all rocks. They're not rocks. Look at this thing in the background. It looks like it has this weird arm type thing coming out of it. It looks like it has a round, a docker area and it comes straight out. And it looks like it does almost the same thing on the other end. But there's something right there. That's, look at this. The way this is... Oh, man, it's... You can sit there and look at this picture and just see stuff popping right out at you. Just As you're looking at it, you're like, oh, wow, there's something here. There's, there's something else that's different. This looks like some kind of weird little piece of machinery or something way in the back. Because I am I am zoomed in at 400%. And now if I was to back out... This is the normal picture. That thing is, I wouldn't say super far off in the distance, but it's a good distance away. So, uh, yeah. But have a look at this picture, guys. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, like I said, it is that weird, what looks like a stone face type thing. And you can see the, what looks like the eyes and the nose. Like a big old nose on it, mouth, and two eyes. I don't know. Looks like other pots laying right here. Something right here. The more you look at the picture, the more you'll find. So I'll let you guys find this stuff. You guys tell me what you think it is. Because to be honest with you, I mean, this is some crazy stuff going on in this picture. Um, I've got another one coming up. I'm going to analyze the um, uh, Mount Shop a little bit more. Um, and we're really going to try to get in depth in this one here. Uh, really in depth. Because um, I want to really see what this stuff is and uh, get a good look at it. So anyway, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope a good week's coming up for you guys. Um, I'm really hoping it's a good week so I can get more things done here. Um, and that's it. I mean, again, if you're just a, just a viewer, you want to subscribe, please do. Uh, you can stay apprised of the videos that are coming out. I got some cool ones coming up. We're staying on top of the most recent pictures if we can, and we do a little bouncing back and forth. But anyway, to say the least, we're going to be on top of everything here and, uh, try to bring you some wild stuff when we can. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next pick.